guys, how are you? So today's video is something that I've been sort of excited for mainly because I suffer from fairly dry skin. Now I love December's. Everybody loves December's. It's the season for parties, it's Christmas, it's New Year's. There's a lot of things to look forward to. I know I'm particularly excited this December because there's a month to go for my wedding and I'm really really excited about that. But I think that while December has so many pros, the one con that it has is the fact that my skin goes for a toss. Normally my skin texture is about normal to dry but in the winters my skin texture is completely dry and I don't like that at all. While it's normal for me to experience weird scalp flaking and skin becoming dry, uh, one of the things I'm experiencing this season which is so not fun at all is that the skin from my palms and fingers from the front side is really beginning to flake. It happens a lot in the night and I'm constantly moisturizing my hands because of that. Um, it's a little scary but at the same time the fact that I'm taking measures to combat it is what's getting me through. Now that's what brings me to today's video's content. I've teamed up with Himalaya Herbals to bring to you some of my favorite products that I've been using and that I think you should know more about. I've got this big box with some of my favorite products and I'm going to show you what it is that I like about each of these products. A couple of them I'm already very familiar with and I have been using. So I'm going to take you through everything that I have from the box. Let's dive right into it. So the first thing that I spotted in the big box I had from Himalaya was the calendar for 2017. Now obviously I'm really excited for this because 2017 is going to be a special year for so many reasons. But I want to see what this calendar is and has. It's really pretty. It's basically got different flowers for every month. And I love how each month has one natural ingredient with its benefits mentioned right here. They were also really nice to send me a little party clutch. I think it's perfect for the party season. It's got really cute studs all around. I think this is so cute. Thank you. Now I'm going to start off with the three really cool bottles that I have over here. I have the Cocoa Butter Intensive Body Lotion. This is the one that I'm fairly familiar with because I've used this before. Now this one consists of Cocoa Butter and Wheat Germ. One of the things that you should know about these body lotions is that they comprise of so many natural ingredients. From my experience, I can easily tell you that they sort of penetrate into your skin in a manner that your skin doesn't get very oily but at the same time it manages to retain the moisture. Now one of the problems that I see and face very often as well is that when you wear so much of makeup on a regular basis your skin sort of tends to react to the makeup in a certain way. It also depends on how you take your makeup off but of course especially in the winters your skin tends to dry up a lot more easily. So no matter how much makeup you're wearing, if your skin is not feeling and looking hydrated, your makeup's not going to be able to do its full job. Which is why I feel moisturizing your skin is such an important part of your skincare regime in general and even more so in winter. A lot of you have time and again asked me about my skincare regime and my skincare routine and the products I use on a regular basis generally. Um, and I can tell you that I moisturize my hands and my face about twice a day. Uh, in the winter especially, I go up to thrice a day. If I'm wearing makeup naturally, I can't moisturize my face while I have my makeup on but I make sure that I moisturize my face before I wear my makeup and I definitely moisturize and cleanse my face after I take my makeup off. The next bottle I have here in my hand is the Soothing Body Lotion. This one consists majorly of grapeseed and almond oil. Again, if you have been following my blog for a while, you know how much I absolutely love almond oil. Normally the oil that I use to sort of uh, moisturize my scalp with and put in my hair is absolutely real and organic almond oil that I get done in the market. My parents know someone who does that so that's really helpful. But for those of you who want to use it all over your body, this is a great product that I highly recommend you try. And the third bottle, last but not the least, is the Nourishing Body Lotion. Now the major products for this one are aloe vera as well as the winter cherry. I feel like one of the major products that works in its best form for skincare is aloe vera. Aloe vera gel is something that works amazingly even for pigmentation apart from of course hydrating and moisturizing your skin. One of the things that you should definitely try if you have always suffered from dry skin is this product right here. Now what I've got over here are two skin cream pods. Each of these are about 100 milliliters. This one is the stronger one which is the winter defense moisturizing cream. Whereas the Nourishing Skin Cream is the little more subtle one. 
Between the two, I would advise that you wear this one before you go to sleep at night because I feel like when you wear a really strong moisturizer or skin cream at night, it sort of gives your body those six to eight hours of sleep to sort of get into your skin, penetrate right in and work its magic. Whereas something that's a little more subtle can be worn in the day. One little secret I want to give you about the skin creams I use in the day is that I always use them right after I've taken a shower. Your skin pores open up best during a bath. So naturally, right after the shower is the best time for you to use your day cream, your moisturizer, your SPF because it sort of gets penetrated into the skin really, really easily and really, really nicely. Getting into the ingredients, the nourishing skin cream consists mainly of Indian Kino tree, aloe vera and winter cherry. You know that aloe vera is one of my favorite skincare ingredients, so this one definitely gets a massive thumbs up for that. Getting into the ingredients of the Winter Defense Moisturizing Cream, this one consists of jojoba oil, wheat germ and almond oil. Now like the packaging mentions, this one is for dry and extra dry skin which means it's a lot stronger, whereas the nourishing skin cream is light and non-greasy in texture. I'm going to open this up and show you what it looks like. This is really light. And I like that it's not sticky. Most moisturizers get really sticky and sometimes I can't touch my phone right after I've moisturized my skin. But I guess in this case that won't happen. Going over to the next set of products, I have the Revitalizing Night Cream, which consists of white lily and tomato. And then I have the Day Cream, which sort of works as an SPF agent as well, which consists of, I want to call that licorice and white tamar. I hope I'm pronouncing it the right way. Licorice or is it licorice? I'm always getting confused. I'm opening up the Revitalizing Night Cream first. Now these are 50 grams each. And it basically and it basically is a regular cream. It has a really nice smell going for it. There are no granules whatsoever. It's absolutely clear white. I'm going to try using this across a different batch of my skin. I think this one is slightly more thick in texture. That's probably because this is a night cream. It's a little heavier. I feel like night creams work really, really well uh, because simply because like I said, I think it gets that time slot to sort of work with your skin on and that too without any sun exposure. So I think this is definitely a little thicker. Um, it's slightly stickier than the previous moisturizer for sure. But at the same time it has a really nice, it has a really nice and supple smell. It's not very strong, the fragrance of it, but it's really nice and pleasant. What I like about this particular product is that the packaging is really nice. The box is definitely a little heavier than this because this is plastic. And this this is um, probably acrylic or glass, I can't quite place it, but it's definitely not plastic. So it's heavier, but I think what works really nice is that boxes like these can be reused really nicely. I'm all about the DIY when it comes to reusing either your Ferrero Rocher chocolate boxes or whether it's your skin creams and moisturizers. And then I've got two really cute lip balms, one which is strawberry flavored and one which is soft vanilla. I really like what I'm reading here. It says that you've gifted rupees too for corrective cleft surgery. I think that's a really nice initiative by the brand and that's definitely something that they're doing a good job with. I'm going to open up both of them and to see what they smell like and I want to see if they're even slightly pigmented. Now I love wearing ultra matte lipsticks but I think that one of the biggest problems of wearing ultra matte lipsticks in the winter is that my lips get really really dry and I have found a couple of lip balms that I really like. I've talked about them before in my previous videos. I'm going to add the links to those in the info box below but let's see what these are like because I'm always looking for new lip balms because of my dry skin and my dry lips and my love for ultra matte lipsticks. It's just a really bad combination for me. Have you ever eaten Fruit Loops? Because this smells like an actual strawberry Fruit Loop, which is amazing. I want to eat it. I'm going to quickly swatch it here to see if it has a pigment in it and see what the texture is like. So it's obviously really creamy and smooth. But what I really like about it is that it has a really nice sheer pigment. So it's not actually a very opaque, really like out there pigment. It's something that I can wear on top of my lipstick as well, as well as of course before my lipstick. That's really nice. I'm totally digging the smell on this one. And now I'm going to try opening up the soft vanilla one. Definitely smells like vanilla. 
I think I'm getting hungry smelling these lip balms. <laughs> and yep, just as I guessed, this one is totally transparent. So basically, if you're looking for something that has a little bit of color, the strawberry one is definitely the better bet. And if you're looking for something that's totally clear, the soft vanilla one is definitely a better choice. And um, I just noticed that both of them have a different bottom. The strawberry one has a really nice clear bottom, whereas this one has a slightly shiny one. But I like both anyway. They're basic, they're really simple. Now last but not the least, they also sent me this really, really nice shawl. I think they're basically gearing me up for winter in every way. So thank you for sending this in to me. Um, I think that I'm officially done with all the contents of the box. I have shown you everything there is. I hope that I haven't missed out on anything. If you have absolutely any questions with regards to the products that I've sort of opened over here today, you can go ahead and ask me in the comments section below. You can, as always, also interact with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, my Snapchat fam is always there asking me questions and I always try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah, I'm going to add all the details of these products in the info box below with all the variants and everything mentioned. So in case you've missed anything in the video, you will catch it down below. And as I always say, see you guys next time.